Hello again, I want to show you this lottery miner that I recently picked up. Now I made a short about this, but I wanted to go into more detail about what it actually is and what it does. Um, I'm not sure if you know much about Bitcoin, but essentially what this device does is it mines Bitcoin. There is more complications to it, but that's just what I'm going to say for ease sake. These devices cost about 30, 40 pounds to buy, um, and they're like one watt power, so they're very low powered. Um, and all you do is connect it to your internet and put your Bitcoin address in and it tries to find Bitcoin. Now, they're called lottery miners because essentially it's a lottery. Um, the chances of actually getting a, a Bitcoin block is incredibly low, like almost near improbable, but not impossible. So what this is doing is, is hashing away. This is at, you know, 310 kilo hashes a second, which is, is nothing, but it is possible for it to get a, a block. It's very, just very unlikely. Um, but what I find interesting with these, these little devices is um, once you set them up, you plug them in, just leave them. You can check how they're doing on, on like your, uh, your mining call and whatnot. Um, but I found interesting is that when I opened it, because I had, I had to open it, um, I wanted to see what was inside of it. And what I found was a very basic board. So I actually looked up online this board here, um, because you know, this cost 40 pan. And then I thought, how much would the components cost? So online, I found the components. Now, you'll notice there is a bit more happening on this one. Um, but essentially, it's just reversed from what you see there. So this doesn't have a screen, and I figure it doesn't need a screen because this thing is mining based on this chip here, which is this ESP32. So I um, have managed to install the same software onto this device here. Uh, and now they do exactly the same thing. Now this might have cost 40 pan, but these cost about a pan. So, you know, if you're looking into getting one of these, maybe if you have a 3D printer, you could always print this case yourself. And uh, you don't need a screen because it does two things. You turn it on and then you connect it with your phone. You put in your internet ID and your Bitcoin address and that, that's it. So you don't need to physically do much. The two buttons just there are the same two buttons you see there, uh, which is like a reset and a reboot kind of button. But what I wanted to go through is, is explain something really quickly. When I bought this, this was only hashing at 70 kilohashes a second. And then I realized you can um, flash it with a new firmware. Um, and the firmware is free to get, and you can get up to 300. So I say, if you have bought one of these and you're getting about 70, you can, I'll leave a link to where you can flash them. Um, it's really simple, plug it in by USB-C and just press connect and it will flash it. You might need to buy a new license for this device inside, in fact, this one, because the people that make the software um, require a license for them. So I think that's why uh, these ones come with a very basic hash rate is because it's a bit like an unlicensed version of it. So yeah, I have bought um, a couple of them. Obviously this is unplugged, so it's not gonna work. These little devices here are so inexpensive. Um, you just need to buy a license for them to get them fully working, like max speed. I decided to buy six of them, um, and, and here they are. Let's just, uh, and, and here they are. Like, literally, they're one watt power. So all I'm using for this, and they all do work, I've checked them all, is just a little USB-C to USB-A straight connector. That plugs into there. And then I just press the reset button to set them all up. Once they're set up, they're all done. I just need to leave them plugged in. Now, I got these after these these ones, so I actually, um, I probably could have I saved money and just bought loads of these, but I've decided to get another four of these um, USB-C connectors to get another four of them sitting on this board, because I quite like this board. You know, just really basic Bitcoin uh, lottery miner. So that's what I found interesting, and they all do work. When I connect them on the system, I do see them all active. So yeah, recently I've been testing a lot of Bitcoin devices. Um, I just find them quite interesting. Now very quickly, I wanna show you this um, Bitax board I'm building. See, I'm more practical than I am technical, and the Bitaxes are another kind of um, 
like Bitcoin Lottery Miner, but they're much, much more powerful. And I've decided to build this board because I want to just, as a proof of concept, see if I could do it. And secondly, to see if I can get the, um, you know, the efficiency much better. This here is a power converter. So rather than using six individual plugs, I'm gonna use one plug to power all these. Now I've actually checked all of these connections. They all do work and this is ready to go. I'm just missing one thing, bit axes. Like bit axe gammas uh, to be precise so uh, yes if you wait around i will hopefully be making the video on the bit axe once i get them in place uh, but for now this ball here probably cost me about 40 pound to build and that was mainly because this device here was about 30 uh, but everything else um is is completely like working and ready to go so if you want to see that video make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one goodbye for now